Hello everyone, this is Kitsu Ronin aka Sir Rob. I'm summoning for PE merges. Let's get into it. I'm also going to be summoning on green and on colorless uh, for the chance at an odor merge and a medius merge. And also, uh, this is my first Karen, that's very cool. Uh, she has the Allied Lance, and that's something I want to give to Sharena at some point. Uh, that would be for Aether Raids to provide additional support for my uh, tanks and other uh, units that I use. I would love to pull on red for a chance at Vital Astra, but I really, really do not want Plumeria in my barracks. <laughs> I don't like her. I know she's a good unit, but I don't like her. And I don't think her skills uh, for inheritance are that good. So, gonna avoid red. And the reason why I am not... Um, Sniping blue is because I don't want copies of Legendary Dimitri. So I'm I'm sort of diluting the chances of getting him. Because mine is already plus ten. Now Asker is notably the first male offense mythic in the game. It's only been like three years, so I guess two and a half technically. And this banner is going to be the last one that I am going to be using a Fae Pass Spark on. Uh, at least the last one that I plan to do the Fae Pass Spark on. Uh, I might have to do it on Groom Roy's rerun if that's this year. Uh, I'm going to try to summon him before the spark, uh, and if I if I fail to do that, I will buy the Fate Pass for it. I don't anticipate summoning on any other banners. Maybe if there's like a, a defense-based distant counter, least that I could get for Kiza, I might want that. Uh, and there's the uh, free-to-play sparks that I'm planning to do with uh, Air in November and Naga in August. But yeah, hopefully I don't spend any more money on this game for this year. <laughs> It's not an impossibility, but I'm hoping I won't have to. And yeah, the reason why I don't want to pull for Asker specifically is because at this point, uh, my Mythic Merge projects are pretty far along, and so uh, I just don't see myself using any new Mythics at this time. Especially since all the ones I'm using are starting to get refined. Now, Peony is actually, to my knowledge, only a plus three, so uh, she's not too far along, but I don't think it's a good idea to ditch her. <laughs> Just because she is way too useful being a mythic dancer. And who knows, maybe I'll get at least one copy of Asker. I do like him. I don't love him, but I like him. He's a little too outgoing for me. <laughs> so, uh, my latest project in Faye has been to just uh, merge up some of the units that have been unmerged in my barracks for a while. Uh, 
I recently promoted another copy of Wrath, so now he's plus one. And uh, that's going to take about three months for me to do all of the units that I'm using in Arena Assault to get them to plus one. Uh, that I can get to plus one. And once that's done, uh, I don't know if I'll have any other projects I might want to build for E3 or the arena. Uh, but if there's something like that coming out, then I'm probably going to start working on pet projects. Uh, just units I don't think would be uh, beneficial for me competitively, but I like the characters like uh, Matthew or Saizo. I have some extra fodder that I'm keeping for no particular reason. And, uh, it'd be fun to build up these units that I like and actually use what I like for once. <laughs> Getting a lot of colorless warps. So, the games I've been playing recently. I have been playing Mega Man X7 uh, as part of my quest to uh, get through all the Mega Man games that I can before uh, the Mega Man uh, Battle Network collection comes out. And that has been a torturous experience because I'm trying to 100% it and I have to play uh, with a guide next to me in order to accomplish that. <laughs> Because you have to look out for these, uh, I guess, collectibles. You only have one chance to get them. So, some are hidden away. And also, I recently beat the arcade mode in Shredder's Revenge on the hardest difficulty. That was fun. I can technically move on from that game now, but I enjoy it so much, it's hard for me to put it down. Okay. That's cool. Men call me the Shadow Dragon, cower before me. Hear me, dragons all. It is time to reclaim what is ours. Okay, so since I got my goal for colorless, I'm not going to pull on colorless anymore. There's no real need to. I mean, I, I would like Asgar and Ashera, but uh, it's not the highest priority. It's not worth spending orbs on IMO. Especially since I really don't have that many orbs. <laughs> Suddenly, my pull options have been reduced significantly. Um, yeah, speaking of orbs, I don't plan to summon on CYL either. Uh, I know there's a hero fest that'll happen with improved rates and hello. Not my first Celica. Um, yeah, I think you have to be subscribed to Fae Pass for uh, Hero Fest Sparks. Uh, but I'm okay with doing that, honestly. So uh, I don't see a need to summon on the upcoming CYL banner. Especially since I don't really. It's not like merges for uh, the Brave units really do much in terms of uh, competition. Like, they don't directly improve your score like 
uh, harmonized heroes or mythic and legendary heroes. So. That being said, I am looking forward to see while it's always neat seeing all the new designs. I'm very likely going to pull for Selif, or I'm going to use my uh, free redemption for Selif. Uh, just because I already have Legendary Krom, I have Adult Tiki, I have... Well, I, I don't have any... Of course. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna be fodder. Or maybe I'm just gonna wait until he gets Riz Refined two years from now and then I'll use whatever fodder he gets. Yeah. <laughs> uh. My, my merge projects never come home. There's Ileana, the star of my... Yeah, I guess I'll uh, summon these two greens and then dip. She was the star of my arena assault run this week. Oh my gosh, that's pretty cool. I am Arthur, my mother was a... <laughs> well, I ruined that. I am Arthur, my mother was a mage. Though my magic might not be as strong, I will do my best to help you. What does he even have? Ooh. Ooh. But I kind of like him. Like I never played genealogy, uh, but I I like his design. Yeah, so my peony is going to be a plus four. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. Hello, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Arthur. <laughs> uh, meet Arthur. Arthur, say hello to Arthur. <laughs> I could pull for him, but no. I'm Penny, and I come from the blah 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 where good dreams are blah blah. I will do my best to bring them to you. I have 15 celestial stones now. Hopefully, at some point, they'll put ascended floors in the shop. I'm still very low on arena medals, but. Uh, I got some advice from GameFAQs, and I've slowly been building them up, so that's good. I already did my Ether Reads run today. Uh, okay, uh, I guess that's it. That was... I didn't get two copies of Peony, which I was hoping for, but I did get a merch for Medius, which is very cool. Got a merge for Celica, which was whatever. I think mine's plus one or plus two. Plus one. Yeah, I'm not really interested in using units that I use as fodder, and she doesn't really have great fodder anyway, so. I think there was one time where I foddered off one of my copies of Leaf, uh, book three Leaf, and there was one time. Oh, I'm planning to, uh, where is he? Planning to give, uh, the copy of Volk that I have from the, uh, combat manual pool to my Yuri. Uh, but in general, I like to, uh, 
just merge up the units that I'm using instead of using them as fodder. Dimitri um, he has Odd Tempest, which is interesting. I, I don't know what I will do with that extra copy. Uh, but yeah, uh, I hope your summons go well. And thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>